It's Devil A Farm back with you for another video. We're working on finally got the belts in for the 130 here. Got a new generator belt right there. Come from Tractor Parts ASAP. And got us a new fan belt. There. Also from Track Parts ASAP. I use them a lot for parts when I'm doing tractor projects and stuff like that. So pretty pretty reasonable. Especially if I can't find it online or on eBay. It's typically where I go to. So I'm gonna work on doing this. Like I said I got the belts in for the 11.35 as well, so I'm going to be working on that probably tomorrow. It's actually been a few days since I have made a video. So, it's going to be, been putting out a few videos, just haven't made a video. So, this will be the first one I've done. In a few, few days, so I gotta take you along as I put these belts on the tractor here. Not too hard of a task to perform. There's the generator belt there, already knocked out for us. Too hard of a process is having to weave the belts there around the fan. It's the biggest aspect of it. Still working on getting me a camera. Been looking. Mm, that's the way I hope. I haven't missed any kind of good deals today, actually, because there was a few on eBay I was looking at. I hope that I have not missed a few of those good deals today. And I may have. If I have, I will find some others. I'm sure. So I am trying to up my game a little bit. Get me a pretty decent camera. So I can get some better views while I'm working and doing some of these other things. There she goes. These uh, 130s actually, and I don't know if the 140s is like that or not, but the 130s uh, actually have an extra pulley right here that uh, you can see there. Um, that's different. That is not on some of these A's and stuff that you have, so it does have that extra pulley there. Like I said, you typically don't have on these other tractors. So, well, I got both of those belts on. We can get to tighten them up. Not the best 
configuration here on these to be able to get in and tighten these up. I'm just trying to tighten it a little bit uh, to get something else into a different job. Give me a pry bar and 17 millimeter wrench. Now I just gotta find where I can pry up and even. I'm able to do this. Like you got a whole lot of space to work with. A little tight, and I'm gonna put a little bit better pressure on it with the pry bar. Well, I got the belts on, but the fan belt is still loose. Uh, I'm afraid I'm gonna take the whole assembly back off again because the, the, the nut on the back is not acting uh, as it should. This nut right here, uh, if you can see down in there, the nut at the back right there, um, it's not acting as it should, plus, there's a washer in there and it is done crowned out on me. You can see it sort of right there. It has crowned out on me. So I'm gonna end up probably having to take the whole assembly back off. Uh, but on the good side of things, I got the belts on, I actually tried it and the tractor actually cranked. Uh, thank the good Lord above. So I don't know what the issue was. <laughs> Might have been that, I don't know. But anyway, tractor did crank, so, uh, but I'm gonna have to, like I said, I'm still gonna have to fix that. Um, probably just, like I said, probably gonna end up having to take that whole assembly back off again and fix that, so. But anyway, at least I did make some progress. Oh, a little update on the Farm Off Super C. Uh, I was having the issues with the gas as far as the um, gas was kept stopping up on me 
uh, kept trying to keep this cutting off on me, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, uh, pulled the tank off, um, rinsed it out with some diesel fuel. Still had a bunch of junk in it, so I bought some evaporust uh, type stuff from Harbor Freight, put it in there, let it soak for a full day, about 24 hours. Shook the tank, got a good bit of the junk at the bottom. I started taking, uh, washing it even more and it kept having junk, kept having junk. Every time I'd wash it, look at it and I happened to stick my finger in the top and it was just covered in just junk. So I decided, well, I had the other super, uh, the other super C, uh, that I had actually swapped out and started using one that the fan broke off of the, the fan belt broke. I don't know about one of them had broke. And so I decided, well, I'll do a tank swap. So you can see a little bit of a, a color difference here. Um, that one had some, I reckon, an older, a little bit of a paint, older paint job. But hey, I had a paint job, so it's not that bad off. So um, tank swapped it out. And this one's pretty clean compared to the other one. So just did a finished off just full tank swap. Actually painted the. Uh, muffler as well it was silver i'd painted it silver and uh, of course that was a mistake should have put the heat paint on it so i had some some heat paint painted uh muffler there as well so i got it painted up got the gas tanks um switched out so this tractor here should be good to go so we can get back to using it some so a little update on the Pots coming up really nice, really nice. All that rain, soybeans are growing, oats are growing, and wheat is growing. Uh, here's putting a little bit of 15 over 15 out this morning. Super C hooked up, slinging some fertilizer. Beautiful day. clover coming up and then we've got the um, taking radish I believe is what that's called so coming up as well so um, that's what a lot of this is here now this is the radish coming up here and I said a lot of this is clover is coming up but also got the oats coming up and then got some of the radishes coming up as well so Food plot looks really good. So this area down here stays, uh, holds moisture very well, gets midday sun. So it's doing pretty good. Got a little block out there uh, as 
well supplement block, so I'm gonna try and get a camera right here. So won't be long before we'll start feeding corn as well. So a little update on the other food plot here. So anyway, I'm gonna close out this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, a lot of different stuff in this video, tractor updates, uh, working on some tractors, uh, and then using the tractor to put out some fertilizer, uh, showing the update on the food plot. So hope everybody's doing well. Hope you've had a great day. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. Please hit that thumbs up button for me. It really helps the channel. Uh, I want to get it promoted and uh, get the channel growing. So uh, I'm going to keep putting out some videos, hopefully, and... Uh, Appreciate everybody watching. God bless you. Have a great day.